In this video, I'm going to quickly review some techniques to deal with shapes that are perhaps a little bit complicated or have really high alpha transparency, which might not cut out very well when you're actually using the PSD exporter. So let's just take a look at what that does. Let's go like that. I'll run the PS code. Okay, we'll call this floaty guy flat for now. And it's going to run the code. Now, what will probably end up happening is you saw how dense and strange those vector paths were. Well, the reason they're so weird is because they're trying to trace around a very complex alpha channel. Okay, so it's just writing the PNG files. Normally, I do it in Maya, but we'll do it here. Okay, the export's complete. So let's head on over to Maya, and we will load up the plugin. Generator editor, and let's go to import. Floaty guy flat, let's open that up. It's really hard to know what we can expect from such complicated curves. So let's pull in the ink blobs and have a look at what it does. So this mesh is likely way too complicated for what it's trying to do. There's a tremendous amount of information there and it's actually causing the system to crash up a little bit. Or it might pull it in, but the best approach here is not to use the alpha channels you generated because they're going to be far too messy. So let's go open up the file that it created flat Let's have a look at what's going on. Let's go into the paths layer so we can see. We'll just turn off all the layers so we can actually, maybe let's just make a solid. Let's create a solid. All right. So we look at this path. It's actually really busy. And this is going to give us a lot of trouble. This is a very difficult path to deal with. So what we want to do is we want to simplify this. And the best way to do that is to isolate the ink blots, go onto this ink blots layer here in the paths and just eliminate this whole thing. And now what we can do is we can just draw around the alpha. We're just going to try and grab the shape roughly of what this is. It doesn't matter that it's inverted. Oops, let's just try to close that up nicely. It's not quite like Illustrator where you can just draw over a path that you messed up. I'm holding control and that'll close it up. Okay, so now what I could do, I think I can probably invert this so we can make this combine like that. Okay, and then we should be able to save it. I'm going to get rid of these light bloom ones too. We'll just delete those and we'll do them after. But then we'll just press save, control S. And we'll pop back into Maya. Oh, it looks like it actually managed to pull those curves in. That's ridiculous. I can't believe it managed to do that, but we should probably have, this is like an insanely complicated vector path that it's trying to deal with. So let's just delete that. We'll make a new file, all new, and let's just pull it in one more time. Let's go here and we will go reload. Okay, and let's generate the mesh. So you can see that that generated way faster and we should have our textures there. So you can see that's more aligned with what we might expect. So that's just one way to deal with it. And of course, at this point, we can just start separating the object and centering the pivot on all of them. There we go. And now we can start using them the way we intended. So I hope that helps. Uh, that's just something to watch for. And if you're doing things like clouds or you have a lot of transparencies going on, just make sure you go back into the file that it created and just edit the layer where you need an updated path. Like, And you can see it's happened here too because we had so much stuff going on that it's created all these tiny little things. And we just want to get rid of those. We don't actually need those to do what we want to do. And for instance here too, if you have, let's just turn this one off. If you have a bunch of little pieces that you want to get rid of, just select the whole thing and then click the border and then just delete that. And that'll make it a lot easier for the program to manage. All right, I hope that was helpful.